There are more alarming discoveries about the terrorists. CNN is learning that Omar Mateen had shown violent tendencies dating back years, long before the deadliest mass shooting in modern American history. Former classmates say the mass murderer had threatened to shoot up his school, kill his classmates, this when he was just a child. Let's go now to CNN correspondent Brian Todd. He is in Fort Pierce, St. Lucie, Florida. Brian, I know you've spoken to a number of people who, who knew him growing up, and they describe him all along as, a, as an angry person. Absolutely, they do, Jim. Angry, sometimes violent, and certainly threatening at every stage of the way. We have just gotten new information in this afternoon, as you outlined, with just details dating back to his childhood uh, of disturbing, threatening behavior back to his days here at Mariposa Elementary School in St. Lucie. A former classmate of his here at Mariposa says that in fourth or fifth grade, one day, Omar Mateen threatened to bring a gun to school and kill everyone. Now, this classmate does not remember exactly what kind of discipline he received at the time, but remembers that it was, quote, a very big deal at the time. Again, this was in fourth or fifth grade. He would have been maybe nine or ten years old at the time. We have just obtained documents from the St. Lucie County School System indicating that Omar Mateen, Jim, was disciplined 31 times between 1992, when he would have been about six years old, and 1999, when he would have been about 13 years old. A long history of discipline here, and that's just in St. Lucie County. He also attended Martin County High School, uh, and three former classmates have told us that around the time of September 11th, he was acting very strangely, acting out, essentially. He was imitating planes, hitting buildings. He claimed that Osama bin Laden was his uncle. He got into confrontations. That was at the high school level. That information coming to us from three former classmates then. We have outlined his disciplinary problems while he was a security guard. And then, of course, the warning signs leading up to the attack. So, Jim, this new information to us, uh, just with discipline and behavioral problems, dating back to when at least fifth grade and possibly longer, to his days here at Mariposa Elementary School in St. Lucie. It's so often in the profile of attackers like these, they had a long history of mental problems, issues like this. I understand you spoke as well to a personal trainer who worked out at Gold's Gym when he was, when Mateen was an employee there? That's right, Jim. Uh, this gentleman's name is Stefan Comvalius. He was a personal trainer. He held sessions there at Gold's Gym. And this is while uh, Omar Mateen was a teenaged employee at Gold's Gym. And Comvalius told us that he, Mateen was constantly angry, constantly uh, confrontational with the patrons of Gold's Gym. He relayed one very disturbing incident where uh, he was uh, holding a session, a workout session for a female client, uh, Comvalius was, and Mateen made a very crude comment about the woman's anatomy. He was very close to her at the time physically and wanted her to hear it. And the woman just kind of glared at him and said, really? And he just didn't end his stare. He was that intimidating to people, Jim. Uh, Gold's Jim said they don't really have any recollection of any of that. So many warning signs. Brian Todd, Fort Pierce, Florida. Thanks very much.